Hi, I'm Fiona. And I'm Gwen. And today we are going out on the street of North Winooski Avenue to ask people what they think about the bike lane that was added six months ago that also took away 40 parking spots. Do you live around here? Do you I know do. Me? I live like a five minute walk that way. Oh, has it affected you in any way? Have you? Were you around when the uh, kind of decision was made? I came into it with the bike lane already here, but it's been pretty great. Uh, it's definitely nicer to have more space and be able to bike. I would prefer it to be like a completely separate bike lane where there's a bike lane maybe some parked cars or wall and then the lane of traffic uh, just to increase safety pedestrian safety bicyclist safety and uh, avoid more collisions but this is better it's nice uh, I'm not used to riding in the snow so it helps to have at least a little bit of space to ride a bike in Wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much. You answered like my questions. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so you'd say it's more positive. Well, you didn't know before, but you'd say it has more of a positive effect. Yeah, I haven't noticed anyone getting hit by a car or anything too negative really from it. Do you drive? Yeah. Oh, you, have you noticed any um, difference in parking availability? They got rid of, I think, about oh. 40 spots. I have not noticed any difference. I have private parking, so I wouldn't have, but yeah, I could see how that might hinder people, but I'm also anti-car and pro like apartment housing, walkable communities, stuff like that. So do away with cars. It's fine. I work right there, so it's like people definitely ride by on their bikes, but I don't know how much they need the extra space. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, I don't know, that extra space is definitely, they need it for parking. You know what I mean? And, the, the, like, that's the issue with the housing, I feel like, right? Is, like, the zoning for the parking. So, adding a bike lane isn't going to help add more housing. So, I don't know what, I don't know what it solves. You know what I mean? I was thinking about it, like, you asked me before, it was like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Like why they put a bike lane here, like whatever, but it's like when you think about it, it's like why? Using more bikes has been using this uh, lane since they made it. I mean, I don't think that the adding the bike lane is gonna increase like the number of people riding bikes. You know what I mean? Like, like, like more bike lanes isn't gonna like inspire me to like ride my bike around. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Here. Just tell us what you think. Well, I don't think they should take all the parking spaces that people need. There's a lot of, they're, they're taking away all the housing and the parking. And the, we need housing and we need parking, you know? And I, I jump, travel this side so the cars can see me. Right. When the one lit one way, I go on the other side because the driver is the one that has to see the person on the bicycle. And since I've been up here, I've been riding my bike in the Burlington area. Even when I had two cars, I rode my bicycle because it's just much more uh, healthy and I just enjoy it more uh, out in the fresh air. Uh, would you say that you feel safer in a bike lane then? or? Well, yes, because they, they, were, they brushed me on Shelburne Road to, and they had a whole other lane. And they, did, and they didn't use the other lane and they didn't go out a little bit. They went right close to me. And when I was on North Avenue and the policeman called on his radio and said, get off the road, you're blocking traffic. And there was two lanes back then, not just one lane and a suicide lane in the middle. There was two lanes. And he said, you're blocking traffic. And I said, I am traffic, you know? But, and that's right by the bike friendly sign on North Avenue. There's a purple sign that says bike friendly city, but it's not always that bike friendly. They, 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 they honk at you and I know they're coming. I heard the truck and he used his Jake brake and not supposed to use a Jake brake in the city limits. And I heard, but I, but I heard him coming before and I just kind of have that sense in my head. I knew he was down the road 
and I could feel him, but he didn't come close to me. He just went by. I'm not afraid, but I don't want to get hit. Yeah. I don't want him to run me down, you know. So it's good to have a bike lane. It's good, to, and, and we're allowed to ride double. If there's two people, you're allowed to ride two side by side, but nobody really does much because we don't want to push the limit of people trying to hit us, you know. What's your name, by the way? I'm Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, what are your opinions on the bike lane they added? Do you find it more helpful or not? Yeah, it's definitely helpful. I think without the bike lane, there's just not a lot of space on the road, and cars sometimes pass in a way that like makes me feel pretty unsafe biking. And so, yeah, it just adds like a nice little extra buffer. It makes me feel more safe. Do you think it's worth, worth losing the parking spot? Yeah, I mean, I think I I do think that. Um, I mean, there's like. There's a big parking lot right here. There's street parking down the whole rest of the way, and you know maybe it'll like save someone's life. So yeah. We are here at Old Spoke's home to ask them about their opinions on the bike lane on North Winooski Ave, which is taking spots away from local businesses, but also keeping bikers safe. I actually need a new bike. You could just introduce yourself and then go ahead. Yeah, I'm John Copans. I'm the executive director here at Old Spoke's home. Uh, we're a nonprofit uh, bike shop here in the old north end of Burlington, and it'll come as no surprise, we feel pretty passionately that bikes are a great tool to get people around their community. They're affordable, they're efficient, and they're fun, they're healthy. So like we think that actually it is a great investment for a community to uh, share some of the public space with, uh, with modes of transportation like bicycles. Like when you get out and ride your bike, you shouldn't have to feel like you're taking your life in your hands, you know? So for us, uh, we know this has been like a dynamic conversation in the old North End around carving out some space on North Winooski for a bike lane. But for us, uh, we feel like it's a really good use of space. Like we feel like, you know, people are now referring to this stretch of road from Winooski down through Burlington as the bicycle highway. That's a great thing, right? This is a thoroughfare for folks coming uh, into this neighborhood and through this neighborhood on bicycle to get to places they need to get. And the reality is, like, I think some policymakers lose track of this sometimes, but the truth is 30% of the households in this neighborhood do not have access to a car. Right? So that means they are walking places, they're taking the bus, or they're riding a bike, or they're doing some mix of all those things to get around. And so the idea that we're sharing some of that public space with those other modes of transportation, we honestly feel uh, enthusiastic uh, about the change. You know, I am sensitive to that topic. and. I'm particularly sensitive because if you look behind you, what we have is a parking lot at Old Spokes Home. So we are we feel pretty fortunate that our customers have some off-street parking, right? Not all the businesses on North Winooski have that luxury. So it's a more sensitive issue. So I don't want to just like dismiss that issue. I guess what my observation has been is we lost some of that parking and it doesn't feel like it it, I still see vacant spots. I still see open spots. My sense is that customers can still get to businesses. I mean, we, I would say, care a lot about having a thriving ecosystem of businesses in the Old North End. And so I definitely wouldn't want to dismiss that. On the other hand, I think we actually, often the perception of scarcity when it comes to parking is actually greater than the reality of scarcity. And I think when we do a project like this, in the end, often what we experience is, ah, oh, you know what? Life goes on. People figure out how to park. Fe people figure out how to take care of their, how to take care of their needs. So, well, thank you so much. I think the bike line's great. I mean, you can bike here safely now. Uh, safer than it was before. Definitely safer than it was before. Um, Sure, right. I mean, yeah, you lost, You may have lost parking for businesses, but now you've gained bike lanes for the businesses. So it's like, you know, the customers, are they biking or are they driving? You know, there's still some parking. It's not like you can't drive. So it seems like we got to have 
I don't know. I don't think I don't think cars are. Uh, I think ultimately people are happier if they're moving around with their body versus driving. So. Yeah, Do you have any thoughts? <laughs> any thoughts on the bike lane? And how do you feel about the bike lane? I love bikes. <laughs> bike lane that was added six months ago, and it also took away like 40 spots right here on North Winooski Avenue. We were wondering your thoughts or experiences with this, or just generally what you think about it being added, positive, negative, both. I think in general, it's, um, you know, it's, it's hard to tell because I... I do work here at Town Meeting TV, and luckily we have a big parking lot that um, generally when I get here, it's their spaces. But, uh, you know, this is a multi-use building, and there are a lot of businesses in here, uh, particularly um, when when yoga popping. Um, there's no, th this place, the parking lot completely fills up. People park in spots that aren't spots, and in parking lots that aren't for this building. And um, if you happen to have to go on a shoot and come back at a certain time that's around when those businesses are busy, you're you're kind of out of luck. And so partially I think that has to do with the removal of some parking spots on the street because a lot of people would also park on the street when they're coming for their classes. But now, um, what is, is it, say it was like 46 spots or something like that that they removed um so i can kind of see some of the um consequences isn't like a great word to use but of that but in general i do think it's a positive thing um the more we can make this city bikeable walkable um you're never going to get it to be car free um which is why i think it's important to take into consideration how um, people um, can still access their, um, you know, their local community spaces, um, and sometimes people live. Uh, sometimes people don't live in Burlington, and they come to Burlington to go to yoga class or come to our studio to um, film their shows. And so, it's important to think about all sides of the issue. And um, I have noticed, as a as a last aside, that even though they did take away all the parking spots on the kind of right side of the road, um, almost every day when I'm going home, I see somebody parked like in the bike lane. Um, so that's an interesting factor that even though they've put that in, um, people are still looking for parking spaces and um, unloading spots. And um, often they will just park where they can because that used to be that way and even though it's obviously a bike lane um, people will, will block it and so I think that that's something to be considered too yep thank you <laughs> you're, you're awesome. welcome hey everyone back again I'm Gwen I'm Fiona and we just got back from interviewing people and we got a few different opinions and we learned some interesting stuff thanks for watching